And so I'm happy to share them with you. First, you're gonna need a bowl of lemons. Just kidding, this is definitely not essential. This actually just makes me happy. This is gonna go really good. Off to a good start. here and well your kitchen is the heart of your home and if you're anything like me you love kitchen tools I love kitchen tools I love to find new things that make my life easier I love to find things and experiment with them to see if they work if they don't work like a salad spinner do you need a salad spinner you don't need a salad spinner <laughs> it's nice to have a salad spinner but it's definitely not essential so out of all the kitchen gadgets and tools that I have bought I've come up with a list of five things that your kitchen must have. Now these are things that I think are worth the investment, that I think save time, and are things that are just useful and helpful while cooking and or cleaning in the kitchen. So let's go to my first number one tool, which is the Vitamix. And it's just like easier, I don't know, it's just easier to get the magic bullet, but it would always, always, always break on me. And then my sister put me onto the Vitamix and I love this thing. And this isn't like the full, like the big Vitamix. So I have the smaller Vitamix and this thing crushes everything. The blades are so sharp and there's like a lifetime warranty on this bad boy. And it just, I don't know, and it comes off so you can like clean it really well, which is what I really like. Look at this. You can clean it so you can get in there, like all right, there's like no food or drinks or whatever gets stuck in there. And like I said, it just like, it, cr it literally crushes and blends everything and anything. So easy, you just tighten it up like that, and then has pulse mode, has everything. I love it. I just freaking love this thing, and it's not so big, but it's super, super powerful, and it also doubles as a food processor. And if you're doing like something super simple, like a super something, like say if I like a bunch of, if I put a bunch of tomatoes with like olive oil, and if I keep this running long enough, like it's meant to like kind of heat it up, so you can like make the soup, the homemade soup from scratch, warm in the Vitamix, you guys. So I use this for so many different things and I just love it. And I haven't even had to like sharpen the blades at all. And I've had this thing for years. I think at least like five years. So I love the Vitamix, huge fan. The cord is kind of long, so I've used one of those black twisty things to kind of shorten it up so it's not, there's not like all this cord when I put it up against like all my other kitchen gadgets over there, my coffee tools. And you can get these at like Amazon. I'll put it in my Amazon shop, but also you can get a Target. And I think sometimes Target has really great sales on this. And they have good coupons, but back and beyond. That's my number one essential must have for any kitchen. My next tool is my Instant Pot. My friend Carmen Q put me onto this and oh my gosh you guys, this has really been a huge game changer in the kitchen for so many reasons, okay? This is a pressure cooker and super easy. You kind of just, you know, screw off the top like that, put your food in here and it's kind of like a slow cooker meets like crock pot meets pressure cooker. Like I literally, I can set the time of when I want my rice cooked. If I want it in five minutes, I can do it in five. That's how great it is. And you can also put in frozen meat and have it cooked within 20 minutes. A frozen meat, you guys. I can put in a frozen steak, frozen ribs, frozen chicken, whatever, and it cooks it in here. Also, like, if I was gonna go in the morning and just say, like, I don't know, I put in a bunch of stuff for like a chili or a soup or, I don't know, ribs, something, I can do a delayed start and it'll cook later. It'll just be ready if I like left and came back. How amazing is that? So you can cook so much stuff in here. You can cook rice, you can cook porridge, you can steam stuff, you can saute in here, you can make yogurt, you can make cheesecake, you can make soup, chili, chicken, meat, stew, slow cook, pressure cook, whatever, but this thing is amazing. It cooks it so fast. I've cooked a lentil soup, I've cooked a meatloaf in here before, I do hard boiled eggs, like I can make a killer egg salad from this because it just does the eggs so fast, like it steams them. So the Instant Pot, again, you can get this on Amazon. Target also has it, and I think Sur La Top also sells this. Instant Pot, it's the way to go. Okay, so my third favorite thing is this cast iron grill. I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of cast iron pots as well. I have one pan, or like a frying pan. I love cast iron, I love cooking with cast iron. And this thing, this is such a funny story, so, it was like two years ago, for, we were having Greek Easter and 
If you guys know anything about the Greeks, Easter in the Greek religion, Greek Orthodox religion, is like the biggest holiday of the year. It's even like bigger than Christmas. Like they go full out. Like my family is all about Greek Easter. And you have like the lamb and the salads and the potatoes and the baklava and the bread with the red egg on it. And you just go full out with the food and everything, the music, just. Green Easter is a big deal, needless to say. And I took my dad with me to go buy it so he could carry it, because <laughs> it's kind of heavy. As much as I complained about buying it, it was probably one of the best purchases I've ever made for my kitchen stuff. I definitely use this three times a week. I cook everything on here. I cook my vegetables, I cook meat, and it's also great if you live in an apartment and you don't have like an outdoor facility to like barbecue because this like is an equivalent to a barbecue, which is great. And you can really get those like lines on there. You can get that smoky barbecue kind of feel from this. But this is really great. And then on the other side, you can do like a flat girdle, which is, I've never used this side. I only use this side. But I cook so much on this and I really love it. Well, anyways, needless to say, I cooked my lamb chops on this and they were a hit. Everyone loved it. And it was just awesome. So yeah, this has definitely gotten good memories for me. It was expensive, but to me now, looking back and thinking back, it was well worth it. I literally use this all the time. Okay, so when I cook, what really annoys me when I like fry stuff or like saute it is like the oil going everywhere. And then it just like, you have like splatters of oil over here, like around your pan. That really annoys me because I feel like that, when you see that, like the kitchen doesn't look clean. Even with like the screen, right? Like you put it over, but then like you can't stir it. You have to keep lifting it and then it splatters and you stir it, whatever. So I don't feel like the screen is as efficient as what I just found, which is the fry wall. That's right. It's a cone. But you put it on like this. Look how great this is, you guys. And then you just put all your stuff in here and then it, if it splatters, it goes on this. And it doesn't even go, like, the bottom of the cone doesn't even go straight to like, the bottom of the pan. It just kind of rests on the outside of like the pan. So this doesn't really even touch your food. It has like none of those icky like things that we all worried about. It's 100% FDA approved silicon. BPA free. And this one's a smaller one for like my smaller pans. And this is like what the package is like. And then it just like rolls up and you can put it in the dishwasher. How great is that to just wash it? You can add in salt and like whatever you need to, like any other ingredients. And it's it keeps like the around the pan clean. So I really love this. This was a great find. You can buy these on Amazon. I love having a clean kitchen, you guys. It's super important to me just because this is like where your food is cooked. So having a clean kitchen is like super important, I think. So the next thing I found, which I really love, so when you have cooked everything and you need to clean it, sometimes the sponge and even like the green side or like the little rough side on the back of the side of the sponge isn't strong enough to really get in there for those pots and pans. Even when you soak them, sometimes there's like stuff that kind of like sticks on there, so you have to like really get in there. And I don't like using like SOS pads or like things that are really chemical and harsh on your pots and pans because you also like cook your food in them so you don't want anything to like leach on there. So I have found, and excuse mine because they're, it's used, but for obvious reasons because I love it. And I found this like, I don't know, like fishnet like cloth or something. But man, this thing, you would never looking at this ever ever think that it scrubs as hard as it does. It's like a miracle cloth or something. But even like the toughest like food or grime that's on your pots and pans, you wash it with this and like it just easily comes off. It's amazing. I don't, this is like a magic cloth. I don't know what it is. Again, you can find this on Amazon. I haven't found them anywhere else. So yeah, I love it. It's awesome. They come in pink and all sorts of different colors. And I just ordered a buttload the house here. So yeah, that was my last kitchen tool. I hope you guys liked it. And if you guys want more kitchen tools or more of my favorite kitchen gadgets, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you next time. Bye. If you guys like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Also, let me know in the comments below if you guys want more kitchen tools. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please be sure to do so. Why? Because we post videos here every single week and I don't want you to miss one. 
Also, don't forget to hit that bell because you're gonna wanna be notified every time I upload a video and I'll see you in the chat. Bye!